we're going to be making dates and carrot cake. This is a very tasty cake. This is also a requested video. In this cake, you're not going to taste the carrots in it at all. The flavor of the carrots will disappear once you bake it. And we're not adding too much of additional sugar because the dates are having a lot of sugar. So overall, it's a very nutritious cake. So let's get on to baking this cake. But before that, if you're not interested to watch this video in English and you want to watch this in Malayalam, I'll leave a link in the description down below to my other channel in which I put the same recipes in Malayalam. So let's get on to baking the cake. First step, we have to sift all the dry ingredients. For that into a mixing bowl, set a sift and add 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a pinch of salt. Now start sifting all these ingredients and then whisk until well combined. Once that's well combined, let's set this bowl aside. Next into another mixing bowl, crack in 2 eggs and add 1 fourth cup plus 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar. You can make differences in the amount of sugar according to the sweetness of your dates. Beat that until it's nice and bubbly. And once that's done, you can add 3 fourth cup of vegetable oil. Slowly pour that in and then beat until it's well combined. Next, we're going to add the secret ingredient into this. That is, 1 fourth cup of caramelized sugar syrup. This is just 1 fourth cup of normal white granulated sugar put into a pan and then caramelized until it's light brown in color. And then you have to just add half a cup of water into it. And then bring that to a boil so you'll get this nice and creamy sugar syrup. And then beat that. Make sure you don't skip this caramelized sugar syrup because this is what is going to give our dates and carrot cake a nice color. So it's a very necessary part. Then into it we have to add half a cup of grated carrots. Just mix it until well combined. And add the same amount that is half a cup of dates. You can either just pinch out your dates into small pieces or you can even chop it. Anyway, we'll just work fine. Put that in and start beating it. Make sure it doesn't stay in large chunks. You need small chunks out of it. So that's well incorporated into small chunks. Beat it just a little bit more. Next, additionally, I'm just gonna add uh, two to three tablespoons of chopped nuts. You can use any sort of nuts, cashew nuts, walnuts, or even almonds. Beat that in and stop the mixer. Next, add in all the dry ingredients. Beat that in just until it's well combined. Do not overmix. In between, also make sure that you just scrape down the sides so that all the excess flour gets in and incorporated with the batter. That's well incorporated and the batter is ready. Next, I have a baking pan. Um, you can use any sort of pan. I'm using a loaf pan. I've also greased it with some oil. Once that's done, you can pour in the cake batter. Make sure you leave a little bit room for it to rise or else it'll just overflow everywhere. Tap that quite a few times. I'm just going to garnish it with a few nuts on the top. This is just an optional part. And then let's pop this in an oven. 
You don't really have to preheat it oven, but if it is preheated, it's fine. Now the cake is baked. Let's take it out of the pan, run a knife through the sides, and then flip that over. So you can see the back side. It's not burnt at all. It looks a bit dark, but that's just because of the caramelized sugar syrup that we added. So now the cake is ready. It looks so good. Let's cut into it. And obviously the inner piece is going to be a bit more lighter than the outside. You can see. It's really soft. You can see the small chunks of the dates and the carrots. really good and you can see that's really spongy and those nuts are gonna give it that good crunch also thank you so much for watching hope you liked it and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thanks once again and bye bye Yep, two sides done. I messed up tonight. I lost another fur. I still mess up, but I'll just start again. Falling down. Birds don't choose, but they fall down and get up. No.